Transformation is a potent word, a powerful concept. But what does it mean in relation to a society? Can the spiritual DNA of a community really be altered? If so, what kind of features does this new blueprint produce? In this program, we'll attempt to answer these and other important questions. We'll visit several communities whose streets and institutions have lately been rattled by the power of the Holy Spirit. We'll examine both the causes and the effects of this most impressive phenomena. To take us on this journey, we join noted investigative researcher George Otis, Jr., a man who spent years reading signposts on the road to community transformation. Community transformation is a concept that many Christians struggle with. But where does this tentativeness come from? My own observation is that it derives largely from the limitations of our own life experience. If you ask believers if they've experienced spiritual revival, most will say yes. Ask if they're convinced that large-scale church growth can happen, and they will invariably cite specific examples. But what almost no one has experienced, at least in the Western world, is a profound and pervasive transformation of their community. And as a result, we're inclined to think it's unattainable. But is this a valid assumption? I'd like to invite you to journey with me to four communities that have been dramatically altered by the power of the Holy Spirit. Four communities that offer a shining example of what can happen when God comes to town.